Luton captain Tom Lockyer out on the pitch, tears in his eyes. An emotional return to Kenilworth Road for the club captain following his collapse on the pitch away at Bournemouth before Christmas. Danny Welbeck waits. There's the whistle, we're underway at Kenilworth Road. Brighton get us started. Another big game after the winter break. Game's coming thick and fast again as Luton on the front foot very early on here. It's old Bene lifting it to the back post and there's a chance, a big chance and a goal. Luton take the lead, 19 seconds for Elijah Adebayo. Luton's top scorer to guide it in. Dream start for the hosts. Well, that is remarkable. You won't see many, if any, quicker goals this season. Given away in midfield, it was clipped to the back post by Obeni, nodded back down, and Adebayo, all he had to do was guide it beyond steel and into the net. And he duly obliged. Luton go a goal ahead in just 19 seconds. Breathtaking start. And how will Brighton recover from that horror start? And they have such spirit, such quality, but they're on the back foot again. His steals come out, it's going to be 2-0. This is incredible. Oh, Bene doubles Luton's lead. We haven't even played two and a half minutes yet and Luton have struck twice. Luton fans absolutely loving it as well they might. That one will be checked, although it looks onside. Steel came rushing out, didn't get there. Oh, Benny, there first. And in the end, the simplest of finishes once he got beyond Steel. A tap-in and Luton cannot believe their luck they've raced into a two-goal lead well, Rob Edwards looks calm but underneath that unflustered exterior he will be absolutely buzzing with his side start goes to Welbeck left for Buonanotte slid through to Pedro Pedro across Welbeck can't get to it big chance to halve the deficit Danny Welbeck just couldn't get the connection he craved. Pedro sliding it to his strike partner and Welbeck. It's like he just couldn't stretch out his leg at all. Roberto De Zerbi looks on, concerned as well he might. His side absolutely stunned by this opening spell. Smooth turn from Pedro and the pass to release Welbeck, who sets himself and drags it just wide. Valiant effort, not far away. More frustration though for Roberto De Zerbi. Really nicely worked, Joao Pedro at the heart of it. Welbeck steadied himself and couldn't squeeze it in beyond Kaminsky's outstretched arm. Tom Lockyer's pre-match appearance clearly has done much to inspire his side he'll be loving every minute of this so far Stepinian flicks it to Buonanotte Buonanotte just shrugged off it Obene Barkley onto his favoured right slips in but the drive saved by Steele it's Jordan Clark slipped in by Barkley Steele had to be alert and was. Question that will be on everyone's lips really is can Luton maintain this ferocious pace and press that they've got going on against Brighton? There's a foul here, a cry of pain. I think it's Sambi Lekonga who's going to be penalised. Oh, he catches Buonanotte so high there. Got the ball, plenty of it as well, but then his studs imprinted on Buonanotte's thigh. 
looks like just a yellow card for Sambi Lakonga. Brighton have it back. Gross has gone down, challenged by Sambi Lakonga. And now Brighton are making the point that Sambi Lakonga already on a yellow. They think he should already be sent off for his tackle on Buonanotte. Has just fouled Gross and is walking a very fine line here. Touched by Barkley to Adebayo, and Adebayo goes again, and he's in behind, in for three, he scores! Adebayo adds to Brighton's woes, a fine finish. Lewis Dunk hurt in the process to rub salt in the wounds. Albion's night goes from bad to worse, but for Luton, things are looking up. Barkley and Adebayo combined, he's onside, he drifts in behind and the finish is excellent. Went near post, caught Steele out, Luton looked home and dry before half-time. 3-0, they lead Brighton. Opening up for Luton here, and Steele with a smart stop down to his right. We've got Bene, already scored tonight, who had time and space to shift it onto his left and try and curl it into that far corner. Not the placement, but not the power to beat Steele. Barkley twisting and turning and dictating the tempo in the middle, he's away from Gross, he wriggles clear, now he faces the Albion goal and there's a crossing chance, there's a shooting chance and there's a block and an important one from Lewis Dunn. Chidozi Ogbené causing more havoc down the right hand side, that was travelling, Steele may well have been in trouble, in by Doughty, 4-0. That one will stand, and it's a hat-trick for Elijah Adebayo. Evan Ferguson turns away, summing up Albion's feelings of the night so far. Sheer desperation. Great whip on the corner, and it falls so sweetly for Adebayo, unmarked. All he had to do was guide it in, and he gleefully gobbles up the chance and Luton have their fourth and surely an unassailable lead. He's had so much joy as owner of Brighton, but this is one of those bad nights where nothing goes right at all. They will happen. Well, Van Hecker roaming up the pitch and he's released Gross, this is a big chance, Van Hecker and it drops, Kaminsky with the save and Lamptey puts it wide massive chance to pull one back Lamptey couldn't find the net came to him quickly Van Hecker, what was he doing up there, he likes to roam forward teed up Welbeck, Kaminsky full stretch with the save and Lamptey should really have scored. Maliba. Ferguson. On a touch. Brighton corner. Gross's kick. And that's a great save. How has that not gone in? Kaminsky with the heroics. A bad, bad day at the office for the Seagulls, who will have to regroup quickly ahead of the visit at Crystal Palace on Saturday. It ends at Kenilworth Road, Luton 4, Albion 0.